and welcome back to Bland Designs, the show that reviews the makeshift structures built by homeless and unconventional individuals to keep themselves warm. I'm Kevin McLeod, and this is my journey into Bland Designs. Last week, you may remember, I integrated myself into the Swinger community, exploring their choice of decor and turning my expertise to their S&M dungeons. This week, I fished my keys out of the collective bowl and I'm getting back into dwellings that are part of the lived environment in a very real sense. Today we're starting off with a classic, the tent. The tent was first recorded in history as being used by nomadic peoples in ancient Mesopotamia around 4000 BC. I'm in a suburban area in a not so leafy part of North London on a rainy day under a, it must be said, rather dingy underpass. And what have we here? Let's have a look around. Now, in this case, I have to say I'm not impressed. The materials used are flimsy and the construction is questionable at best. More worryingly, this tent is definitely lacking in the aesthetics department. It's just a single sheet of fabric stretched over some metal poles. There's no real design elements to speak of. No aperture to let in natural light, no cantilever to create a sense of balance, no cornice to add visual interest. The eave is non-existent, leaving the facade looking flat and uninteresting. The fenestration is also minimal with just a single zipper opening for entry and exit. Let's see what happens if I just give it a rather gentle kick. Well, that didn't take much. Let's see if we can find the builder of this monstrosity. Excuse me, sir. Are you the builder of this tent? Yeah, it's all I could afford. I see. <laughs> well, the use of a single sheet of plastic as a roof is highly inadequate. And the lack of proper supports just makes the whole structure unsound, does it? all I add. That's no excuse. You see, as an architect, it's my job to create functional and aesthetically pleasing structures. And this, I'm afraid, just doesn't cut it. Now this is a bit more creative. Uh, we have a cardboard box being used as the main structure with some tape and plastic to keep the rain out. Now this is a bit more interesting. Cardboard, a type of paperboard, has been used for centuries for packaging and printing. It was first mass-produced in the 19th century. The use of cardboard here as the main structural element is definitely unconventional, though, and it's been put together in situ, meaning it's been built on site. Uh, the lintel, or horizontal beam, is made out of tape, which is definitely not the most durable material. I'm going to give it a poke. There we go. And my gosh, look at it wobble. Well, it's not exactly sturdy, is it? Let's see if we can find the builder and get their perspective. Excuse me, madam. Are you the project manager? You what? The project? Sorry, what are you talking about? Did you construct this edifice yourself? Yeah, I had to make do with what I had. I can appreciate that. We often get clients on the show who go over budget. But as an architect, I have to say that the use of cardboard as a main structural element is highly questionable. It's just not meant to withstand the elements. It's better than nothing. I understand that but we can do better. There are more durable materials out there that could be used to create a more stable shelter. As Richard Rogers said, modest architecture is about creating spaces that are functional, efficient and understated, rather than flashy or over-designed. Uh, I will keep that in mind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and review another down and out makeshift abode. Well, this is an interesting one, Tyson. We have some old blankets being used as a roof and some sticks being used as support, so it's definitely a creative solution, although the, uh, the fenestration is minimal, with just a single opening for entry and exit. The overall effect is dark and uninviting. Again, let's give it the poke test. Again, it never ceases to amaze me at how fragile some of these rustic constructions often are when put to the poke test. I have to say, I'm not impressed. The materials used are highly inadequate and the construction is just plain dangerous. Are you the builder of this bleak shelter? Yeah, what of it? Uh, I just wanted to get your perspective on the design. You I'm... and your fancy design crap. You have no idea what it's like to live on the street. You're just here to make fun of us. No, no, that's not what I'm here for. Au contraire, I'm just trying to help improve your living situation by drawing attention to aesthetic ideals. You can't help me. No one can. Just leave me alone. In this episode, we've learned about the diverse and often challenging world of destitute architecture. 
As Frank Lloyd Wright said, we as architects are the creators of a new civilization. Thank you for joining me on this journey into a new civilization. Bye.